Yo, what's up? It's Warren Hugh. We're heading the Clouds Festival, and I'm hanging out with Rob in Front Row Live. What's up, guys? Rob here, Front Row Live Entertainment. I'm hanging out with Warren Hugh here at Head in the Clouds, What's man. What's up, Rob? Another incredible year this year. You are not a, I mean, you've been here so many times yeah. before. Like, you are not a stranger to this festival. No, yeah. What makes this festival better and better every year for you? For me, it's just um, the comfortability, I think, for me. I, I, I'm getting used to festivals, like, a lot more, mm. for sure, every year. And it's always, like, a great energy all the time. Yeah. It's always, like, a fun time. Wholesome crowd, good food, just, like, cool friends and yeah. hanging out, yeah. I feel like these stages are starting to become just home to you. Like yeah. it feels comfortable. It feels just right. Um, what did you do differently this time that you personally like wanted to make sure that was different this time around on this performance? Um, definitely more dialed in for sure. Um, I used to have like a lot of backing track on my old uh, performances. Mm. And nowadays, like I just like straight up go acapella sometimes just like no backing track and hopefully remember my lyrics <laughs> and <laughs> just give out a better performance. And yeah, we had like instruments also on stage this yeah. time around a bassist and a guitarist so kind of added like a lot to my set how does that impact you like as a songwriter as an artist like when you have that instrumentation that live instrumentation there like does it change the dynamics when you go back into the studio to start like working on new material of course i feel like live instruments are so important to mm. not only just to music but like to festivals as well like i feel like it's just like a whole different experience you get to hear a new version of the song yeah. and it's just like raw like I i'm always like into raw stuff so yeah it's yeah it's so perfect. most recently you dropped the the one and only song for 2023 so far uh tennessee like yeah this is this is you know a different style for you diff different yeah, sound totally. different you know vocally you are uh more mellowed out mel like more yeah. personal more more uh what is the word more you're opening up more for your audience yeah for sure this time around so the vulnerability aspect is incredible yeah um talk to me a little bit about the creative process of this song and like did you come into it knowing what you were writing or is this something that like was really just trying to get out right and and, and be creative i think it's just something that i was get, like gonna have to come out i feel like mm. it's like definitely what i've been feeling for like over this whole year is like rediscovering myself yeah. and like trying to reinvent myself all the time so like this is like definitely one of the per most personal songs I've ever made. And I think it's mellow in that fact because I just wanted to like show my real voice, no exaggerations, yeah. just straight up. Like it was definitely more lyric um, focused. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it just came came up quick. And yeah, that's just how I was feeling this whole year. Yeah. So I yeah. had to let that out. And, I, and it's cool because I feel like when, you, when you're at that level where, you know, things are just going up and up and up, like it's hard to really like stop and focus and, and check in with yourself for sure, right yeah like that's absolutely. what you're kind of doing with the song yeah was it something that like was constantly like biting at you like you got to check in on yourself or yeah. is it something that kind of triggered it to to be able to check in and then be able to write something like this right um i think it's just a built up built up of emotions and mm -hmm. just like whatever's going on i feel like it's very important to check in yourself yeah. you know what i mean like um when you're a musician it's like very hard to get lost in it and yeah. like straight just be an artist 24 7 and like you can't separate yourself like from being an artist you know what i mean so like one of the most important things this year is for me like splitting that difference yeah. and like making like this artist stuff like my job almost more than just like who i am mm -hmm. like it's definitely i need that balance of just like other stuff as well besides music <laughs> right yeah. exactly as as far as the balance goes Chazu has been with you since the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, constant collaboration in the in the production and I think even in the writing process uh -huh. as well sometimes, right? Like, so what's that dynamic like? Because like, I feel like now you guys are like tight friends. So yeah. how can you, like when you go into the studio, how do you separate the tight friendship with like the, all right, it's time to get down to work and like we got to right. focus on this. Like, what is right. that like for you? I mean, it's always, our friendship has always been ba based on just like trying to reach new levels really. Just like pushing the boundaries all the time. Mm. Like we joke around about like having like the most insane albums ever, <laughs> like pushing the boundaries all the time, different concepts for different albums. Like that's just like in our regular conversations. Yeah. So I feel like when it's time to work, it's just like comes naturally. It's not really like, oh, let's work today. Like, like let's focus on, let's not be friends today or some shit. <laughs> like I think our work dynamic definitely comes from like that friendship and our love of music. So yeah. It just comes naturally usually i just hang out in his house and then we just ends up making music all the time yeah yeah that's cool because there's no pressure i feel no, like at it, all. It, yeah. the music sounds better when there's no pressure when Absolutely. you know it's like when you first started writing music and you For wrote sure. your first song it's like there was no pressure and that's why you're so in love with it yeah exactly um, and it's good going back to checking in with yourself I, mm -hmm. like it's good to kind of have that mindset as well yeah For or sure. else you're gonna burn out quickly that's what i'm saying yeah that's like the scariest thing i feel like burning out you yeah. know what i mean like and not finding inspiration so like you always got to keep yourself you yeah. know checked in 
at the same time, I know you challenged yourself with Tennessee, but you're currently working on that on a new mixtape, yeah. which is going to have so many more features on, on this as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What are you doing this time around to kind of step out of that comfort zone um, more than you have already on Tennessee? Yeah, um, definitely just trying out the, like, the most freshest sound to date, really. Just like, because mm. I'm a big fan of music in general. So like me and Chasa would even like look at all these artists coming up, taking inspiration from them, um, even older artists and everything, and just like mixing like that nostalgic sound and that new sound together yeah and we're trying to make like a classic mixtape basically yeah experimenting with r&b and all that nice. collaborating with artists i've never collabed with and i like i'm really excited about that <laughs> yeah for sure. and, I, and i love that you're discovering new artists not not just yeah. doing features with major artists or yeah. like bigger artists so as far as that discovery goes like how do you discover artists um is it something that you're like actively looking on spotify on like performances on shows or word of mouth or like is there a certain way that you kind of look for these this talent it really just comes naturally too like if i have something on my release radar or something mm. i would like check them out on any social media platform like i would see like clips of performances or or something yeah and like soundcloud too this is very underrated because i even came up with soundcloud like um one of my first like music was from soundcloud so like i would still be on that and yeah. just like search for new artists on soundcloud even though it's not the same as before yeah yeah I love the dynamic of how much you're evolving within every release. Uh -huh. Boy, the year is incredible from start to finish. Thank and it's you. like, it's, it's hard. It's a hard record. Thank uh, you. Your vocals, your rapping is just intense, right? Like, yeah. and then you kind of give us this slower, mellowed down dynamic Yeah. for you as an artist. Like, do you, do you consider this in the studio or is this something that's like literally you come in, whatever you're feeling happens. And that's what that, you know, that's the response. Like I think this release I think it's definitely whatever happens really like I just take it like whatever whatever it is whatever the day is whatever the, the period or era is like yeah. sometimes I can break down my life in eras <laughs> sometimes and that's how I kind of just like observe my life sometimes yeah. so yeah it all depends on the era I feel like boy of the year was super like an intense moment for me crazy year so like I had to let all the energy out mm. for shows thinking about the whole 360 everything and Tennessee's you know it's just because like not a lot was going on this year yeah and I just recorded at home most of the time so like I feel like I dig deep into like even more sadder material yeah. or like you know like more personal material when I'm alone yeah so. do you feel like that vulnerability aspect is so much easier when you're by yourself like yeah. even though even though you and Chazu are, are so comfortable together like uh -huh. do you feel like that's still kind of like is is uh is a factor for sure for sure like recording alone definitely like gives another you know layer to your music i feel like it's just like you can put anything out you can say whatever you want yeah with chasu there's definitely still like a boundary where i don't like i don't like to go crazy personal <laughs> but um i try to for sure yeah. it's more of like oh let's make a personal song right now but like with tennessee when i'm alone it's just like whatever it just came out yeah yeah how do you feel about your vocals with Tennessee? Um, where do you feel like you got challenged? Uh, I know you mentioned like it's more melodic this time around. You get to showcase your voice a little bit more, but where do you personally feel like you were challenged during the recording process? Um, I feel like it was just getting the timing right, melodies right, mm. you know. Um, it has like a constant melody throughout the whole song. So like it's challenging to even like keep it interesting throughout yeah. the whole song. But I really stuck with it because I thought it was just like the most hard hitting melody for that song. Yeah. And I think the lyrics were definitely more important than the melodies for me for that song. And it's it's cool because like talking about like pockets, music, uh, lyric pockets. Like, yeah. You know, obviously it's completely different from from Boy of the Year. So yeah. do you do you still consider pockets when it's something more mellowed out or is that just something when you're going hard and rapping? Right. I definitely consider pockets more uh, when rapping for sure. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's definitely like it's all about rhythm and it's all about just like keeping the flow going. Uh, making the song interesting so like yeah i don't know with melody songs like i don't focus too much on on, on pocket that much yeah. but with rap i have to yeah i have to land it for sure now i love that this festival brings so much incredible talent but yeah. all of this talent is basically family you guys all know right. each other have collaborated with each other work together whatnot a couple years ago nikki rich brian and yourself like yeah. to california uh -huh. right here in our backyard like, yeah literally. And, and you know I'm, I'm curious what was that process like because you guys each individually wrote your own parts and still yeah we're able to create one song out uh -huh. of it. So what was that process like? And how were you guys able to like make it all blend together into one particular song? Yeah, I feel like we just all had our own studio sessions and we've heard like the verses from each other. Yeah. I think I was one of the last ones that recorded it. So I already heard Nikki's part, Brian's part. So I feel like we just all bounced off each other's parts and we already had the chorus locked down. So yeah. like we kind of just based it off the chorus. And I don't know, maybe it's that Indone Indonesian connection too. <laughs> I don't know. Like we all just like are Indonesian talking about the same experiences yeah. in California. So it just came together that way. 
Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to finally be sitting down with you. I've been trying to get with you for some time. So oh, yeah, thank you, Rob. I'm glad we could talk and talk music. Um, excited for this upcoming mixtape. I'm curious to see like what it's gonna sound like, what it's gonna like, where oh, yeah. you're gonna take us, you know, in this world of uh -huh. Warren Hughes. So congratulations, man, and thanks thank for you so much. Me. I appreciate that.